Hello. Well, today's plant isn't a flowering plant at all, it's a fern. And it's a fern which we very typically uh, in the UK see on walls. This is uh, maidenhair spleenwort, Asplenium trichomones in Latin. And naturally it would occur in limestone areas because it's a lime loving plant. But because uh, you get a lot of lime in Malta, more so in the 19th century than 20th century, um, it's taken up residence on lots and lots of walls in the UK and it's a typical fern uh, that you find in those sorts of locations. Let's have a look at it. Now, the first thing that any fern enthusiast does uh, is to turn the fern over and have a look at the back. And that's because the structures that allow the fern to reproduce are on the back of the frond and so if I look at the back of the frond I can see that there are uh, little uh, lines of spore producing cases called sporangia and they're contained in a flap a bit like a letterbox and the flap in this case is about uh, three millimeters long and the sporangia are poking up from underneath it and that flap's called an indusium and that long thin indusium tells me that this plant is uh, Allosplenium. In the UK only Asplenia have that long uh, indusium. So I know this is Allosplenium. That's given to me by the shape of the indusium on the back. And the next thing I do is to see how many pinnate it is. Now this is a bit tricky, um, but uh, what we do is we count up from the bottom and see how many divisions there are in the frond. And that's zero, one. So this is a one pinnate fern. fern. And that tells me that I've got a choice of four. Now the next thing I look for is to see whether these little pinnae on the side have got stalks on, and they have and that gets rid of one of the uh, four and that tells me that this is uh, either a Splenium viridae, the green spleenwort, uh, the maidenhair spleenwort or sea spleenwort because all of those answer those three questions in the same way. And the clincher which tells me that this is maidenhair spleenwort is that the central stalk is dark brown colour and only maidenhair spleenwort of those remaining three has this dark brown uh, stalk. We call it a rachis. And the other two, the green spleenwort has a green stalk, which is very appropriate for it, and the uh, sea spleenwort has a ridge stalk with coloration on the edges of it. And it's also a bit, it's also green usually. So this is maidenhair spleenwort. It's undoubtedly a very common fern, very commonly found on walls. Um, and as I say, you can identify it by using those four characters. The shape of the indusium, the pinnateness, in this case it's one pinnate, whether it, the little pinnae are on stalks and the color of the rachis. Maidenhair spleenwort, a splenium trichomonese.